and uh, we're going to take a look for another fighter on fighter technique highlight. This time, uh, the Korean zombie, Chan Sung Jung, is making his long awaited return opposite Dennis Bermudez. So, we're going to take a look at one of the uh, signature finishes from his career. And uh, so, this Jung is the only man in UFC history to finish a twister. So, it's pretty obvious that that's the one we're going to look at. And so, the twister, we just want to. Uh, it's a spinal crank technique, it hurts the back, and it's one of Eddie Bravo's that comes from his type of back control that he likes to do. So what Chung did uh, was from here, he took out a hook, which is normally considered bad, but recently it's becoming a lot more popular as single leg back control. After taking out this hook, he brought his opponent, Leonard Garcia, to that side, and then stretched him out with a great line. From here, this is a really strong control. Even aside from the twister, I can control the wrist and hunt for chokes, I can try to land punches, there's a lot of options. But what Jung did is he capitalized on a big mistake on Garcia's part. Now from this position, Garcia grabbed this hand with his own to try to stop Jung from punching. Once he did that, Jung took his arm out, and since his pun was holding on and trying to turn in, it was really easy for him to pass that arm by. Once that arm's passed by, all you have to do is grab the head, keep the uh, lower half of the body controlled and tight so it can't move, and then pull on the head. That twists, it's really uncomfortable, it's very painful, and it can uh, really cause a lot of damage, actually. That's how he forced the tap. But even besides that, if that submission doesn't work, come here, you can't get it, it's really easy to just push through and retake the back. It's a very versatile position. And it's one I think we're going to see a lot of in the future, and Jung is the first man to use it. 